Hello Gothic friends, Razmin is my name. Welcome back to the world's let's play of the world, Gothic 2 Live Edition Hardcore. We are into the swamp, walking for Huno and for Fist and Esteban at once. We work for three big bosses. We have to find for Esteban who tried to murder him, for Huno to get his steel, that one who works for Esteban got it and we need from Juan also that works for Esteban. The lockpicks that they stole from Fisk, so we have a lot of stuff to do. As we are. Hey, haven't I seen your mug before? No. Nope. That's none of your business. Get lost. Because we are a bandit, we can actually talk to them. No, oh, we are not allowed, right? Okay, sorry. We will get it anyway. But this might be quite hard. Oh, one. Yeah, your donation. Forgot about it. How's Thank it you. Going? What do you want? Have you got anything to say to me? If not, you can just go away. Otherwise, my friend will make mincemeat of you. Mincemeat? So I like it? it. They say you have some interesting wares to offer. So what? Esteban wants to jerk me around, eh? I do all the work and hide away here for days in this miserable hole. And he just sends someone to fetch the stuff? I'm not a warehouse. Yeah, and? That isn't my problem. Oh. But I'm making it your problem. You want the delivery? Fine. You can pay for it. Get but I'm poor. From Esteban or Raven or I don't know where. I don't care. Whoever wants these goods will pay for them. Show me what you have. What the? Uh, I have no clue if we kill him. If we are going to take all of that or not. This I'm going to take because we need those and the uh, arrows. The rest we shall see. This is one of the things that we need also. I'm quite sure as soon as we attack him, he's not going to. 50 gold. Very good. Not many apples we need to get the next strength, I believe. Yeah, so we will have to use the bow from a distance. The guy is strong once he equips his build. Yeah, we just we just hit too hard now. And we are going to hit even harder. Yeah, he only had a nothing to plunder. The rest got lost. Which is also not bad. We didn't have to buy the, all, all the other stuff, just the important ones. Like the arrows, those are very important to us, and the apples. Nice, a lot of grog. So in the original you don't you never find the grog. Somehow they are lost. I don't know if that's a thing or it's a bug, but here they put all the grogs back and the one that needs them is the skip guy. So we are done with the bandits here because we play with a bow this time. We dealt quite a lot of damage, like really a lot of damage. So now we have to keep clearing. I believe the plants and stuff, we are going to just ignore them and get them once I start uh, clearing a bit. That, that's too far away. Oh wow, that's good. The swamp cast drones, they are annoying. Oh, there is some loot. Yeah, that we can get. This is also what we really need to craft that potion. As for some reason I thought that the the Samuel guy he would craft it for us. Apparently no 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 no. Ah that's not good. Two rats, two little rats, little bit of a bug, right? We got another room, we get quite a lot of runes, or never needing any of them. So a lot of swamp gas drones. I know where we are here, we are almost done with the camp, uh, with the swamp actually. Only some golems and that's it. 
Yeah, that's very true. Did we hear the columns? No, we didn't, right? So many plants. So much Laura in this part of the swamp, thanks to this mod. It's good and not good. Nothing here? This has to be near the... What's the name of that? Near that building, some sort of a building is here, the builder's building. Yep, that's it. Okay, so we know where we have to go right next. Oh, we have been there. Down here shouldn't be anything because here we get back to the guys. Yeah, that's where we came from. And if we continue this road... Okay, okay. So there is a teleporter. We only have to go on the other side of this wall and kill the golems and that's it. We don't need a teleporter. If we can do it with a bow, it's just perfect. There is a plant. More than one plant, yep, very true. Here we have been. But what we only have to kill is on this side of the wall. Ah, there is a... Yeah, we also use a mod. Yeah, there is this swamp column. We use a mod for bigger plants because of the flora here. It would be quite hard to actually see things. Like saw that that plan was so huge this also. Otherwise they are way too small. Mm. One more should be there. I believe one more, right? Oh look at this plant. It's as big as us. The healing root. Ah, the column is there, but why there? So nice when we can hit from far away. Nice. I believe that's it, right? Oh, one more. Sorry. And that's it with the last one. Then we... We level up again, so once we go to Karenis, we will have a lot of stuff to invest our learning points. Mm, I believe maybe when we swap too fast, when we try to charge the bow, and then discharge it, then <clears throat> we lose the arrow. Here should be something. Yeah, see? Aquamarine ring. As I said, the rest I'm going to collect off-screen the plants and stuff, because if, <clears throat> as you look on the map, there are parts where we collected almost everything. Right in front of us there is a potion somewhere. Yeah, we are in a swarm. <laughs> Endemic insects. Ah, there it is a potion, see? Very good. And that's why we don't need uh, the stronger bandit's armor because we are not in the close combat anymore. Well, not so often. Nice. So now we finish all the monsters, except into one location, as I said, where we are going to go later on anyway. Wait, where are we? Ah, there we go. Now we can give the steel to Huna, we can give the stuff to Fisk, and if you really want, we can get an armor for or free, not for free, much cheaper, sorry. Free is not in Gothic 2, like nothing is free. 
So first with Fisk. Fisk the disc. Esteban, can we? I couldn't care less. About the assignment. Listen, I have other come back. Yeah, okay, come back. We will come back. Well, Fisk, we got something for you. I have your package. Two hundred gold yeah. experience. What about Juan? He's dead. Good. Then he can't cause me any more trouble. You are quite as happy. As far as you are concerned, I have a pretty good relationship with Huno. I'll see to it that you get your armor cheap from now on. Oh, thank also, you. Also, I'll give you one of my weapons. One hand washes the other. That hasn't changed since back then. Do you have anything new? Oh, 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 look at this. We need a free strength. The rest, yeah, this is not needed. She got quite a lot of stuff now. Oh, oh, arrows. Yeah, the arrows is good. Can we sell you more useless junk? Light battle axe. Pickaxe, yeah, I was about to sell the damn pickaxe. Got a shield from that guy, right? 35, oh, whoa. I do like the shields that we have. Willow bow, we don't need that. Oh, fire arrow, we don't need that either. Fire arrow is not needed. Dragon snapper horn, yeah, the head of mantis. Those things we are going to hold on to, right? Before we forget, he doesn't care about that, so. Two potions. They said they increase our sharp weapon 35. What happens once we drink those? Where are they? This? Physical defense plus one. Okay, so let's check it now. Oh, what was that? We we can see what's this. I have no clue. That's from the mod somewhere. And 37. Sharp weapon and blunt weapon and projectiles. So we get plus 2 on everything. That's... That's physical. Okay. Not great, but not bad either, I believe, right? It's only... Two plus two for the time being, but once we start fighting with more skeletons and we get more of this grape mass, then we can get more stuff. Need better armor. Fisk said you'd give me a good price. Ah, true. Is it for everything? Hmm. Well, I still owe him a favor. Oh, it's a lot more cheaper now, but as I said, we don't need it. We are not going to use it anymore after that, so. I have the steel. And? Was Juan there too? He was. I knew it. That rat Esteban was behind it. Now, what about our agreement? The man you want to talk to is waiting for you in the bar. Talk to the barkeeper. Talk to the barkeeper, okay. That's our next mission. Oh, snappy snap. What do you have for us? Who knows sent me? Looks like you found your man. Go on up to the next floor. Someone's waiting for you. Who's waiting for us? Up there. Really curious, right? And the little fisky fisk. So you were behind the attack? Yes. Esteban is in the way of my business. He won't let any of the bandits who work for me into the mine. He's making sure that everyone works for him, and only for him. That way, he can pocket a percentage of every deal and control the whole camp. Yeah, let's see what happens. Esteban. And then, what do you think will happen then? Do you think he'll give you what you want? Forget it! I have a better plan. 
What kind of plan do you have? No, I'm a traitor. I just want to go about my business in peace. What are you planning? We'll get Esteban out of the way. That means you will kill him and take his place. As long as his bodyguards are with him, I don't have a chance. Then we'll have to get them to leave by telling the truth. What truth? You have done your job. You know that I was behind the attack. Tell Esteban and he'll send his boys to kill me. I'll expect them here. When they're gone, you can deal with the bastard and I'll take care of the guards. Okay, that seems like a lousy plan. There is also a thing with this quest. We can do it like tell him literally who the killer is and then as soon as we attack one, the guards are going to drop dead and we lose the experience for that. Or we cannot tell him and then we will... Oh, what's that? Potion, like for real there. And then we can kill them ourselves and then we get the experience. So I prefer to kill him. About the assignment. Listen, I have other things I have to take care of. I thought you might be interested in knowing who was behind the attack. Who is it? Tell me his name so my guards can wring his neck. The traitor Fisk is behind it. At the moment, he's sitting in the bar unsuspecting and drinking. Ha! Well done, kid. My guards will take care of him. You heard him, boys! Go get Fisk! I just want to see if he's the same in this version. And what happens next? What happens next? Ah, they just run there. Tell you what happens. Fisk will die a painful death. And everyone in the camp will find out about it. That'll be a warning to all of them. Do I get a red stone now? Yeah, you of course not. Well. Someone like you has no business in the mine. I can use you much better out here. You'll stay in the camp and continue working for me. I'll think about it. Yeah, you're forgetting who you're talking to. I'm in charge here. And you'll do... Yeah, you're so unpleasant, guy. And I say, you work for me and no one else. Is that clear? No. Are you trying to play me for a fool? There was never a question of me working for you. It isn't everyone who gets an offer like this, but if you don't want it, you're free to leave the camp. How about if you keep your word and give me a red stone? Hey, one more word. My guards will have to hurt you too. What guards? What guards? What? Oh, I see. You're trying to pull a fast one. Just you wait. So no matter what, we will fight them. But the only difference is we lose those guys. So can we do this? Bodyguard. And now for Perfect. So you see, we would lose couple experience. Nobody cares. Nice, we got five st redstone tablets and the bodyguard. And I believe here should be the pepper bag. Yeah, see? Pepper bag. Bag. Now we can craft that thing for the guy. Nice, we got one more string. That means we can get the next bow, uh, the next shield. Then this is what? Plus 10, plus 5. Plus 15, plus 5, 25 health and 25 other. The health is the same. The mail is a bit bigger, but more defense. Ah, we could have used that. So, this and this is not needed anymore. Okay, noted. Now, to craft the, the thing for the guy and tell Fisk about it, true. And then clear Fortuno's mind with his green novice, yeah. I know Peter, right? He needs the green novice. Esteban is finished. So little experience, I've unbelievable. This for a long time. I think you've got things to do now, and uh, I need to go back to my business. Very so, true. So if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Wait a minute. You see nothing, damn it. Show me your. He got fifty arrows extra. Okay. I believe we need one more stinger, right? Yeah, we only have one stinger. Now we have two. Let's go up here and craft it. 
And that's done. We slowly becoming the boss of this camp. Like nobody really. Ooh. Why did we do that? Try loose hammer. No, that's not what we need. We need. The novice craft swamp. Okay, where 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 is it? Is it a special potion? Ah yeah, okay, it's a special potion. Oh, we did it. Okay, it can be deadly, we don't need that, but what about the other thing is what does this do? Mana plus one. Perfect. And this one only damages us, right? Let's check it. Yeah, this only damages us. But we will leave it. Plus one mana is not bad. We need 20... No, not 20. 30 we need, actually. Do you care about that? That we... No, he doesn't care about it. Oh, well. So, Fortuno, we can clear your mind. I have a potion for you. It will help you to remember. I trust you. Yeah, just like that. Weird. And... I remember again. Now I see. Adonos, be with me. What have I done? Yes, what have you done? Yeah, good Above question. All, what has Raven done? I helped him to make contact with him. He wanted various elixirs. I brewed them for him. He tried to open the portal to get into the temple. Why? What does he want in the temple? powerful artifact it lies buried together with the one who once bore it a mighty warrior who fell to him and then we couldn't open the portal but raven was sure that he could if he had the tomb of the priest excavated that's why he brought the slaves here victims he could force to dig where the powers of time lie at rest tomb of the priest the resting place of a priest of adonos it lies in the mine. I also remember the stone tablets. He believed that they would show him the way. He's smart. And once he was able to decipher the characters on them, he no longer needed me. He put a spell of forgetfulness on me. And and you have freed me. He doesn't care about that. Yeah, the swamp with, as we said, we have to keep. We can cook. Is that a fire? Oh, there is a fire. So now we can go to Taurus and give him a red stone tablet. We need the access to the mine. The next episode probably we will be busy with the mine. And uh, after next we are going to actually start visiting the, the tomb with the raven and stuff. But not for very long. Then we will have to get out and do more stuffy stuff. Taurus. There you go. I have a stone tablet for you here. You don't have the right stone. Only the red ones are important. Can we get them or what? Are you kidding me? We have the red stone tablet. Hey, you. Ah, right. We have to tell I this. I'm stupid. Sorry. Here. Okay. You killed Esteban, so you will do his job now. They have a few problems with mine crawlers in the mine. Three diggers have bought it already. It's your job to provide replacements. And when can I finally get into the damned mine? Do your job. Afterwards, you can do what you want. Okay. So, we, everyone went to, to Esteban for it, but now we have to go to them. It's a bit weird. So, if we give it to Logan, he's going to give us a magic ore. Good reward. If we really need it, so I don't need it. If you give it to Finn, he's going to give you You're in the mine. 10 gold sure chopping. That's very good. The best in the mine? Then I'll get back to it. Oh, uh, something else. I'll let you in on a digger's secret. Now and then it's a good idea to give it a really good whack. If you've hacked a couple of times and nothing has come out, then drag the point of the pick sideways across the rock. With a little luck, you'll get several chunks at once that way. 
So Finn and Lena are the best ones. You're needed in the mine. They, they give you, you gold chopping. Stone for me. Excellent. Now I'll work that damn rock to crumbs. I already know exactly where I'll go. One more thing. If you go mine and watch out that you don't strike too hard, otherwise your pickaxe will get wedged in the gold. Thank you. So those two give you the bonuses. The the Logan is going to give the magic ore. That's that's the best for the beginning. Emilio gives you nothing once he's inside, once he's outside. And Logan is the hidden one. He will give you once inside a plus ten mining also. You're needed in the mine. So you did it, huh? Okay. Good thing you didn't leave me hanging. He was also a cool guy with us. So now we sent three people into the mine, then we can actually access the mine ourselves. You already know what I think. Now oh, Taurus. Hey. Big guy. I sent out three guys. All right. Then as far as I'm concerned, you can go in. Thank you. So what about our level? Level 29? Yeah, far away from leveling up, but 47 learning points. Poof. Halt! Get out of my way, guard. Yeah, he's going to go. All right, you can pass. That's so weird. It's like go out of my way. Oh, okay. Deal. Slave. Of course, the old coin trick. We cannot quick loot them. But can we actually sleep here to increase our health back? Ah, uh, we can. Okay. Okay, good to know. We will have to sleep once it's going darker. There was something to pick up, right? Or it was the bed that we have seen. Skeleton like that. How... Skeleton bone? Oh, I see. How long has this guy been dead? That... They made already skeletons here. Because it's three... Three weeks, maybe a month since the barrier got destroyed. So I think it's a bit weird that the guys decided to sleep. With a skeleton. So here is uh, an amulet hidden. It's an amulet for... Of the healer. So that's uh, one of the sets. Yeah, for a long time I didn't know about that either. Ooh, that was risky what I did. So we will explore outside. As I said, we like to explore everything. Methodical. Venturo. Uh, not the chest, the guy, the dead guy, the slave. Poor slave, the slaves are the guys, right? Potion, not potion, but... Herbs. Yeah, a lot of herbs here. Weird that th those chests are not hidden. This one is hidden. The one that we didn't quick loot. All right. All the things on the right. And behind here I believe there is something. Or am I mistaken? I am mistaken, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry for checking you guys. Here is the beloved temple that everyone is eager for. Are we allowed? Slow down. You aren't getting in there, so beat it. Get out of my way. I have to see Raven. No one enters these quarters. Direct orders from Raven himself. It is damned important that I get to him. Yes, no, there he is. Only Bloodwind has permission to stay in there. Bloodwind? Isn't he supposed yeah, to be Yeah, sure, we dead? killed him also. He's stronger than ever before. And if he finds out that someone is causing trouble out here, he'll make mincemeat out of you. I'll give you a thousand gold pieces if you let me in. You're wasting your time, bum. He's loyal. Blood one is in there? Then get him out. Ha! Huh, do you seriously believe I'd do that? Yes. You're an important man in the camp now, but your power ends right here. Got it? So go to the mine and dig for gold or do something else, but don't stand in the way here. Okay. We'll talk again. You already know what I'll tell you then. Things will change, my friend. Things will change. And the last teleport. 
So we will go to the mages, tell them about it before we venture into the mine. Is it you, Merdarion? I've activated another one of the teleporters. So stones. much experience. You have done really well. I can only congratulate you on your work. Thank you. You're all working again now. An impressive sight, don't you think? Here are a few gold coins. Okay, we can give the Saturas his stone tablets. Hey, you. About Raven. Oh, more experience. in the bandit camp to the east. Raven is their leader. But in order to get to Raven, I have to get some of the bandits out of the way first. Fine. Then good luck. Wow, this but is such a... That it must happen quickly. I don't Raven like the water mages here. His goal under any circumstances. There is even a fellow with the bandits who claims to know Raven's plans. His name is Fortuno. He says that Raven wants to get into the temple to get a powerful artifact. And? Did he know more about this artifact? He could only tell me that Raven has had the grave of a priest of Adonis opened. This grave may contain the key to the temple. You should take a look around. Yes, yes, I know. Raven has forced the prisoners to excavate the grave of the priest. That is not good. You must hurry and stop Raven. And what about you? About the relics. What about this? That looks good. Where'd you find that? The bandits use these stone tablets as a sort of currency. The tablets bear the sign of Korhodren, a great warrior. He is the commander whose son Rodimus caused the downfall of the entire city. I'll bet the bandits don't even know what it is they are trading there. Here is some gold as a reward. Now we have collected all the relics we need. You have done us a great service. I thank you. This will bring us a crucial step forward in our studies. May I don't know. Yeah, may it protect us. I really, really wish now that they they would actually, you know, just uh, make us really powerful, or the mages would somehow help us, increase us, increase our powers or something. But no, apparently, no. All they do is just say, "Yeah, thank you." So, on your way to the mine? Mm, yes. Actually, we want to see Raven. Actually, I want to see Raven. Hey. Try to enter the temple and you're as dead as the prisoners here. Move your ass over into the mine instead. Why? Are they dead? They work themselves to pieces. Uh, you will die. You will die for that, my friend. So, let's see. Another friendly face here. Hey, do you want to go digging? Then don't forget to stock up with Scatty. What do I need then? Well, at the very least, a pickaxe. And some provisions can't hurt. Or how about some healing potions? There are mine crawlers down there. Oh, good to know. Can we take your stuff? Would you mind? Yeah, you just don't mind. Okay. So the guard is probably just engaging with us in conversation because we might just... Oh, look at this. We might just run away and never talk with Scatty or ignoring that there is a named NPC. Probably. But they really don't care that we take their stuff. Ah, damn it. Oh, arrows. That's perfect. That's what we need. So as I said before, the, ma the magicians of water, I really wish that they would increase our power somehow. Scatty, look at us. Turn around, buddy. You know how it's going, right? Pickpocket and your stuff. Since the tomb has been open, there hasn't been much demand. Raven has no more use for his slaves. That's why they're mining gold now, on Bloodland's orders. And the diggers are taking it easy. Diggers who take it easy aren't good for business. Now tell me about it. Now let's trade first. Let's deal. Arrows, yeah, thank you. Fine bastard sword, yeah. Good stuff. Bloodwin, is he in charge here? He oversees the mine. But he's almost never down here. He spends most of his time with Raven in the temple. What exactly does almost never mean? Last time I saw him was when he came out of the tomb. 
No ways. The last time he was here was when he sent the slaves to mine the gold. Unlike Raven, he, he looks very grumpy, Scatty. What sort of tomb? A cursed, unlucky tomb. The guardians of the tomb have killed many men. Guardians? Are you talking about creatures of stone, rather flat with a round head? That's exactly what I mean. They came out of the depths of the stone by the dozen. I knew from the beginning that it wasn't good to dig out the tomb. But they wouldn't listen, right? I was possessed with the idea of digging there. And once the tomb was finally uncovered, he marched in there with his guards. What did Raven want in the tomb? Hmm, you're pretty curious. You remind me of a fellow I You still know us. We are here. He was just as curious. And eventually it was his undoing. Get to the point. What happened in the tomb? Well, <clears throat> my throat is really dry. And you want to drink? Not now. This is important. So, what did Raven do there? All right. He... He called... Summoned something. He kept calling out words in a foreign language. Bright light poured out of the tomb. And then I heard a scream that cut right through me. A demonic scream. And then? That's all I know. At that moment, Bloodwind came out of the tomb and said I should beat it. And that's what I did. It also didn't take long before Raven and his boys disappeared back into the temple. And since then, Raven hasn't been seen. It's weird that, uh... Cat like is not a fighter. Really and he's there a trainer. A uh, trader. But maybe Lucia still has a bottle. There you go. Wow, 750 oh, experience. That a lot. Yeah, so Skeddy should be in the charge of fighting stuff. He was a fighter in the Gothic one and now he's a trader. What do I have to know about mining gold? Oh, plus five, thank you. In your hand and whack in a lump of gold. Anyone can do that. But many nuggets will shatter that way. That's why only people who understand mining should do it. I can tell you more once you have some more experience. Yeah, that's not worth it to waste experience, so. That's it. We are going to make a cut here. We are going to go into the mind the next episode, so thank you very much guys for joining me. I hope you had fun as much as I have. We are going to get to Raven quite soon and then we will continue our story. So thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.